Hello, my lovelies. Jamie Marie here. I decided today to do my podcast, my jam talk, audio as well as video. I think that in our day of social separation, it's really important to have visual touch points with other people in our lives. So as I sat down to put some of my thoughts together to share with you, to provide some healing, transformation, and most importantly, inspiration in this crazy time that we find ourselves. I thought it important to me for me to also show my face to all of you guys so you can get a deeper sense of me and feel my heart and feel my energy that I'm offering you. So for those of you who do not know who I am, again, my name is Jamie. My business name is Jamie Marie. You can find it on Facebook and um, jamiemarie.com. Just no, nobody can spell my name. It's J-A-I-M-I-E is how you spell my first name. A little unique twist there that throws people. But I am an advanced energy medicine practitioner and intuitive soul coach. And those are areas of expertise that I have been bringing forth to the world for the past about eight years, six years certified in energy medicine, but eight years of intuitive soul coaching work and working with a client base here uh, locally as well as nationally. And I was born for whatever reason with the precocious ability to see, feel, and completely understand subtle energy fields. So these are subtle energy fields around human beings, animals, uh, places and things um, that I've always just been able to see and understand. So believe it or not, having that innate ability and um, understanding has made the world since I've been born into it a very different and very um, somewhat chaotic place. So in moments when we find ourselves now in this new reality, which we need to start digesting as reality, which we're going to get to in a minute. But as I find myself here, um, I find that surprisingly, I'm very comfortable in chaos. And I realize now it's because of what I just shared with you. It's because since I've been living and breathing in this world, Seeing people, places, and things from an energetic perspective is quite chaotic. There's colors, there's energy flow, there's information, there's source, there's spirit, there's all of these things that never allowed me just to be normal. It allowed me always to be chaotic. So when times of stress and chaos come up within myself, my family, or the greater world around, I've noticed is when I can really ground myself firmly and share. So during this time of oddness and newness, many people um, eat their stress. You know, when they get stressed, they eat. I talk. And that is also where I shine. And so it is my wholehearted intention that I can continue to share this unique viewpoint on the world and everybody in it, as well as bringing forth deeper intuitive, connected, universal understanding of what is going on within us and in the world in the hopes that it allows us all to heal on a very, very deep level. It allows us to elevate our consciousness, which we need to do to overcome the challenges within us, so that it allows us to renew our relationships through conscious communication and true intimacy. So it brings us back to the fullness that we were designed to really have in this life. So <clears throat> that's where I'm coming at you and that's the perspective I'm gonna share with you here. This is the perspective and understanding and teachings I've shared in the past in my jam talks. Right now my podcast can only be found on SoundCloud. It's Jamie Marie, um, I think magic happens. I don't know, I will find that and I will send it with this link. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Um, so you can listen to some of my past um, teachings. There's not many out there, but they are there. So what the heck, right? Here we are. Here we are. Um, everything in our worlds and our lives has completely 180 in the last week and two weeks. Everything, life as we've known it, has halted. It's ceased to be 
and we are all universally globally hand in hand navigating something that we have never before navigated and something that we've never before experienced and especially to this to this degree so it is important now more than ever before to find your communities to find your safe havens where you can disengage from the television and news and chaos and fear and death and engage with peace centeredness calm and universal truth it has never been more imperative and if you are somebody that has been in this spiritual journey for most of your life or maybe you're new to all this spiritual energy stuff wherever you are it doesn't matter um you know for those who have been around for a long time you know and understand that every teacher spiritual teacher has been saying for generations and generations you need to take care of yourself you need to elevate your consciousness you need to do all of these things and now it's really an opportunity to put that to use so for those of you who are new to this concept of energy and healing and consciousness and evolution, I welcome you and I welcome you with open arms. And I just want to remind you, please do not be afraid to be in this community and to ask questions. Um, one thing I can promise each and every one of you that tune in, that connect with me and choose this space as your safe haven of connection and inspiration is that I will never ever shame or judge any one of you ever and that on my heart is the most taxing thing right now um, there's a lot of taxing things on my heart but that shame and judgment is i would have to say the boulder that's really anchoring so much sadness within me we need to stop this BS with judging and shaming each other. So I say that with total love and that wherever your belief system is politically, um, you know, your, your social belief systems, whatever they are is okay, but you need to check that at the door if you wanna come into this community because this community is not about fighting who is right and who is wrong, who is stupid and who's doing the right thing. And any of those conversations, go find a different group if that's your jam. And if it is, I wish you nothing but the best, but go find your group because that's not what this is about. That is not what this community is about and it's not what I am about. Um, so, I wish you the best, but go find your group. This group is really about laying down all of our labels and divides to come together for the betterment of all, because we need each other. And energetically in our world, that is what is happening right now. So energy always looks for um, vibrational matches that are balanced. So energy is always trying to be in a state of balance and energy, as you may or may not know, is all based on vibrational frequencies. So think about this for a minute. We hear because sound waves come into our ears, rattle the, the eardrum in there and make sound come. We can see light and we can see color because light travels into our eyes, bounces off the back and brings us sight and brings us vision, right? Um, if you've ever been sitting and all of a sudden you feel like somebody's looking at you, you turn and look and somebody is looking at you. It's because they're looking into your energy field. You're feeling them. Everything is energetic vibrations. That's what makes the world go round. So outside of vibration, which is where you're gonna hear me use concepts and terminology such as elevated consciousness, to rise above, to see differently, to help push forward a new human paradigm, which we need right now, outside of that elevation and vibrational frequencies is balance. We have to have balance. So our beautiful world, chaotic or peaceful, is always seeking balance. And for quite some time, through no one person's fault, just human existence, 
our world, our energy has been out of balance. We, we've been overworked, overspent, over everything for quite some time. And that bubble has burst. And the counterpoint to busy, overworked is calm, disengaging, relaxing energies. Okay. So do I like the way in which this balance is screaming out via this illness, coronavirus, COVID-19, and what is going on in the world? No, I would never in 2 million years prefer this. We're allowed to have our human preference. I don't prefer this experience, but the fact of the matter is, is it is our experience. It's our reality now. So we need to digest that truth so that we can move forward and we can come back to elevating the consciousness to balance out the scales again with everything that's going on there it's it's a balancing act okay i sometimes think of like a teeter-totter and you know you got that perfect balance point where maybe each person each end your feet are planted firmly on the ground your bottom is in um, in the seat of the teeter-totter and you're you're straight across from the other person and every now and then we push our feet off and we zoom up and we zoom down, right? And sometimes, I don't know about you in childhood, but sometimes if you zoomed up, your friend would think it would be funny, they'd put their feet down and they'd hold you up there for a minute or two, right? So I see what's happening around us and before us as an opportunity to heal and to bring the scales back into a state of balance uh, for the world and for everybody within it. and. Here's the thing, and this is what I know in my, the depths of my soul and every cell in my body to be true. And it might not be truth for you, and that's okay. Wherever you're at, I just invite you into giving some of what I'm gonna say, some reflection on it. And that is, is that everything is divinely orchestrated. So I call the divine God, you might call it Buddha or Ja. You might call it love, universe, or synergy, or you might call it the great unknown, the great abyss. You might call it collective consciousness. You might call it the quantum, quantified, unified field. I don't care what you call it. I love you, but with all due respect, I don't care what you call it. The fact of the matter remains is that this entity um, is there. And this God, universe, creates everything in perfect orchestration. So you don't have a choice per se of what you do and do not experience in your life. It's written, it's already been done, it's reality, it's before you. The only thing you have free will to choose is how you interact with that reality. So, you know, traditionally up until the rug got pulled out from all of, under all of our feet, that would be a state of struggle or a state of surrender. And when we're dealing with maybe making a decision of a new job, right? Or maybe we realize our job's not right, we need a new job. Entering those states and controlling or understanding your control of perception of what's before you is easier to step into. But when you're in a state of full blown chaos, and again, that rug being pulled from underneath your feet, it's a lot more challenging to get to a state of surrender and say, okay, keep it in mind you guys, that when I say state of surrender, it does not mean you sit back on your couch and you're like, eh, whatever, right? Uh, a state of surrender is just a trust and a knowingness of what's playing out before you while simultaneously allowing yourself to have your own human interaction with that reality. So that's why I was saying, I don't prefer this reality, even though I trust and know in totally complete, like every cell in my body, I know this reality is for the betterment of all of us. Even though I know that, it does not mean I like it. And it does not mean I want this and prefer this and need this experience in my life. But I also know that I don't know 
from the most high elevated state of consciousness, which is God or universe, what is or is not best for me? That's the surrender. I have to trust. I have to trust the surrender. And your ability to get in or out of a state of surrender is your relationship you have with something outside of yourself and above you or with you. It's not really above you. It's everywhere. I say above in a vibrational energetic point, not like a position point, but that's God. That's the creation. That's the universe of all things. And in my humble opinion, and what I've been teaching on and working on for years is that our scales of balance of creation of all universe, God, and humanity has been grossly out of balance. And the more busy we become, the more that has been out of balance. Why do we become busy? Think about your life two weeks ago. Why do we become busy and overworked and overscheduled and overtaxed in every way, shape, or form? Why do we do that? I wish you guys were in front of me so I could have active answers. Maybe you already answered this. Maybe you didn't. Why we do that is because we feel a great disconnection within ourselves that we are trying to do everything to avoid and to fill with things external and outside of ourselves. And that void within that disconnection that you might have been trying to avoid for evermore by eating and shopping and working and stressing yourself, that void, that feeling within you can only be healed and evolved and transformed when you reconnect with the truth of what you are and what's before us and after us and all of the things, which is the universe, it's God. It's a gross the grossly is not a correct word, but it is a huge disconnect. So we get busy. We consume rapidly. We overwork and overtax and do and overschedule all of these things to avoid looking at the truth that's within us, the whole that's within us. And when I say all of this to you, FYI, if I need to say it to you or not, maybe you know it, maybe you don't, this isn't a religious thing. I hope you're picking up on that. This isn't a religious thing. I'm not saying God in a religious sense. I, you, that, that mentality is part of this new paradigm. It, the, the paradigm that's broken and the new one that we're entering into is, that's not what I'm saying. This isn't about how to practice worship or what rules are or are not okay. This is about a simple energetic truth that we are all from and extensions of the same love. I just happen to call it God. You might call it whatever the heck you want to call it. At the end of the day, the highest vibrational frequency to exist, which I label God, is love. That's the highest thing. So a little here energetic aside, a little FYI for you, a little 411 on who and what you are. If you could see and understand the human energy field like I can, you would see that there are seven very distinct layers of energy around every single human being. And most people, when they hear me say that, say, oh, okay, Jamie, so our body is giving off this energy field, this auric field around us, which I say, no, but yes, your body gives off energy and that's a whole nother, you know, energy centers are a whole different thing, but your human energy field creates your physical body. It's not something you radiate. It's something you are. It's seven very distinct layers, the outermost layer. So we're like all in this big egg and we're all connected via this outer layer, the outermost layer is the highest energetic frequency possible. You can't see it with the human eye, like I can see other fields. It's a, here, it's an internal intuitive vision, and that's God. That's pure love in which we are all connected, the unified field. I mean, metaphysics and science are catching up to each other. These things are being studied. This is fact. So that outer layer, the highest vibration is love, it's God. And from that vibrational point, each layer comes down. And as it comes down, the frequency is getting denser 
with each relayer being responsible for something, ultimately creating our physical body. So when we are off, when we are broken, when we have illness, when we have disease, when we have mental stress and emotional turmoil, it's always energetic. And what I'm saying to you right now, or helping to invite you into understanding, is that what's happening in the world with the balance of the scales is it's been really weighted on the physical side, the, layer, the first layer is your physical body, your and then two is emotional, and third is mental, all your humanness. It's been really tipped, the teeter-totter's been like this, it's been really tipped with all the weight and attention coming on this humanness which is okay, we got lost in the movie, it's okay, we're human. And what's happening right now in the world with the chaos is the scales coming back down and love, God, the universe is saying, but wait a minute, you can't keep going on that trajectory. You might be thinking, oh my God, it's all roses down there, but you need this hole within you to be filled, which only I can fill which only love can fill. You need to remember your fellow humans on planet Earth and your brothers and sisters. You need to remember the planet in which you reside and the animals and the trees and the food systems which you rely on. You need to remember love and kindness and care. You need to start seeing things differently. To, to heal us and to heal the world, we have to elevate our consciousness and start developing a new human paradigm. Everything from our education system to our business functioning. So the, the imbalance and the teeter-totter caused this collapse. Do I prefer the collapse? No. Do I want to be in this place? No. Do I want to be self-quarantined in my home with my kids and still be concerned about my husband that still needs to leave for, for work and coming back. No, I don't prefer this. I don't prefer to worry. I don't prefer to cry. I don't prefer to be scared. But I know in the depths of my soul, there's this big balancing out process that's happening. And at the end of this disease, we are going to see and remember each other. And we already are. In, in this upheaval, everybody's like been in a state of shock of like, oh my God, okay, everything I just knew is gone. Sports are gone, concerts are gone. All of these things, jobs and activities, all of these things that keep me busy and disconnected from myself, that whole within and the greater truth of who I am and the universe is gone. Now I have to look here. And we're all saying the same things in our head. What's important? How have I been spending my money? How have I been treating my people? How do I survive during this crisis as well as how do I help my community survive during this crisis? Prayers are going out for those across the globe that are ill and healing and our doctors and our nurses and our frontline individuals that are there taking time away from their family to heal everybody else's piece of their heart. This is all happening and it is equal parts, scary, chaotic, and fearful. But if you allow it, it's equal parts, renewed, elevation, innovation, connection, healing, and transformation, and inspiration that we need as a people in order to get through this. There's a phrase, a quote out there, I, forgive me, I don't know who said it, but I know it's a very famous quote, you guys would all know it, is you cannot solve a problem in the same level of consciousness that created it. And that's just truth, right? You can't solve and innovate and ideate and the same mindset you were in when you drove something or you found yourself in crises. So if we as a people actually want to elevate and succumb this and thrive, we have to elevate our consciousness. 
Many of you are employees now that are working from home with your kids at home that you've never done before. And it's scary and it's overwhelming and it's hitting every failure button you have within you. you. Every fear you carry about not being good enough, not being able to handle something, not being able to provide, not being able to teach, to guide, all of those fears and shame buttons that you're carrying are all full throttle touched right now. But let me tell you, that's okay. You need to process those things so that we can get to center and I can help you elevate to get through this because your children need you, your coworkers need you, um, everybody needs you to do this. I can't do it alone. Nobody can do it alone. We need each other in order to do this. And granted, I have never faced this reality like you before, but I have two kids, I'm married, and since I've had kids, I've also been a stay-at-home mom and business owner and working the whole time. So for the last 11 years, 11 and a half years, I have been mastering the balance between that. And just like I said, the earth needs this balance between human and universe God connection and the earth energies are looking to balance. How do we bring forth the energetic vibration of balance? We balance ourselves within, we recalibrate. So being home is daunting and scary. And I can tell you right now, you're not a failure if you're not getting the things done or if you're in a ball in your bed. You're not a failure. It's all good. You're recalibrating. You're feeling new energy fields. You're integrating while simultaneously igniting all of the fears that you have. And I'm telling you, I can help you learn to let that go, to not let go, but like transform that to step into something new, to help build a new paradigm. And I am telling you, those that do that work, those that are more committed to the light than they are to the darkness and the fear, are going to drive this forward and be wildly successful in whatever way that success looks for you. Success, success excuse me, is not just monetary. Success is happiness. Success is living a life of inspired service. Success is having a nourished identity. Success is a harmonized home, whether home right here or your physical walls around you. That is what success is in the new paradigm. And the establishments and people, places, and things that don't align with that success vibrational frequency that's being put out into the cosmos and into the world are going to struggle. Okay. I do not say this is poo-pooing the death and the chaos that is around us. It's very, very real, but I'm telling you, and I'm inviting you to join me in learning how to develop a new paradigm from our new reality. I'm asking you to trust me when I share this information about energy vibrations and how to change what it is that you see before you by doing nothing at all physically, but just bringing a new eyesight, bringing a energetic, spiritual love understanding to what's before you. Because in that understanding, there is no political party. There is no, you know, socioeconomic status. There is no you and me, them and us. There's only we, and there's only love. And this world is giving us a magnificent opportunity to remember that, step into that, and harness that. And that doesn't change that it is scary as all get out. I love you and I'm here for you. I pride myself on making this a space of peace, inspiration, connectedness, and love in a world that's increasingly chaotic and fearful and falling apart. This is your space.
and I invite you to join me. For the next week, I'm giving whomever wants the experience of healing and transformation and inspiration and elevated consciousness, the opportunity to join me and my soul family, where we're going to do live coffee and conversation from the comfort of your home. And I come as you are. Okay, come as you are. Jammies, I don't give a patoot. Rats, patoot, come as you are. I'm going to be doing live teachings and Q&A, no questions too big and no questions too small. I can see the energy, I can understand it, utilize me as a tool to help you and your kids and your spouse and your family to ease some worry and fears. Allow me to help you. And finally, in that weekly, I am doing a group energy healing and transformation transformative meditation session on Sunday mornings, okay? Just because we are socially divided by walls does not mean we have to be energetically divided. And here's the thing, if you remember what I said at the beginning, it's impossible to be energetically divided. We need each other. So I welcome you to join me. And if that's not your shtick, that is totally fine. And then I just invite you to check in. And if you ever need peace, and if you ever need a space to go where you will be loved and accepted exactly as you are in whatever emotional mental state you're in, then to join the community. It's jamiemarie.com. And pop quiz, if you can remember how to spell my first name, J-A-I-M-I-E, marie.com. Under memberships, you can go get your free setup. Join us. And if anything, gift yourself this next week. We start Monday. Gift yourself one week. Just try it for one week. Just try surrendering and putting away some of the fear and stepping into something new. We know what the fear has get, gotten us our whole life. What if you try something new? and it gives you a different result. It can only go up and it can only get better. So join me. And after that week, if you don't like what you experience, or if you're like, hey, I'd rather live here in this fear pocket, then I will give you a virtual hug and an energetic healing squeeze and send you into the world with absolutely no hurts, but nothing but love. You have nothing to lose. JamieMarie.com memberships. Go through. You'll see it at the top. Start your free trial. You'll put in your email and password. Confirm your email. Go back to the page. Complete the process. Upon that, I'm checking in once or twice a day for new um, family members, and I will send you an email with the private Zoom link for our virtual coffee, 7:30 a.m. Central Time on Monday morning, the 23rd. Okay. That's that. I'm also, I do a lot of daily videos and inspiration on Facebook. Again, it's Jamie Marie. You can find me there. Um, I'm on Instagram as well. Okay. Jamie Marie, I think it's magic or underscore magic or something. I don't know. You'll find it. Um, if you choose to find it and you want to, you will find it. Okay. So I send you into your day. Any questions on anything I said, please let me know. Please put them in the comments below. I check them often. No question too big, no question too small. I threw a lot at you and I appreciate you taking your time to be here today. And I especially look forward to connecting with you guys all virtually very, very soon because we need each other. So with that being said, I love you and take care. Bye-bye.